Welcome to another video about me doing uh, making 3D stuff. This time I worked on a two piece set um, a top and a skirt. Right now you see the top, the skirt uh, will be in the next video, which you will likely uh, see um, right next because I uh, edited both videos right after each other. Um, started with a choker like um, appendage or a part. Um, you can see this is like I normally work with uh, clothing. It's uh, um, I, I make the base form. In this case I use a um, what's it called? Um, a tube, a circle, and um, I use the symmetry tool and then move each um, each dot uh, by hand and align them with the uh, model. Exact again, it's the uh, Gen 2 base model of Death 3D. Um, the let me think. The uh, um, the symmetry tool helps me uh, to so I don't have to move every dot, but instead I only have uh, to move about half the dots, and uh, the rest is uh, done by symmetry. Um, for some things I have to uh, undo the symmetry like this. Uh, I wanted, I didn't want the um, the cut in the middle, so I undid the symmetry tool, moved it again, and um, when I was uh, working further on it, I reinstalled the symmetry tool and reactivated it. Um, It's uh, I, I, I needed about one hour twenty minutes for the whole thing. Um, it's around the typical time I use for a project like this. Um, again, lots I, I use um, the. Uh, I basically just move points, use the. What is it called? The. Um, extension tool to, to um, extend uh, a few parts and use the um, tessellate tool to uh, make additional points in the uh, in the model um, nothing much to say here um, there's a lot of trial and error there's a lot of uh, try uh, there's a lot of uh, Practice I started around, I think, August 2018. Yeah, sounds about uh, sounds about right. Um, and um, have worked since then on uh, different things. What I just uh, did was use another tool you don't usually see, the bridge tool. Um, it is used to connect to um, either to edges or to surfaces. Um, it's how I did the um, thing on top, the um, uh, clothing part on, on top. And now I am just going to align uh, each dot with the model. This was uh, this took a rather long time because. Um, Yeah, you can't. I can't just uh, flatten the um, point on the model. Instead, I have to uh, really look how it is uh, going. In the end, you will see that I jump a lot between back and forth between um, the sides. Um, again, I use the symmetry tool, so um, I only work on the 
on one side, the other side is mirrored um, by the uh, program. What's important is that um, you um, start with adjusting the position of your object. Uh, usually you don't get it right in the middle and on the right side of the screen there's a whole set of um, coordinate uh, buttons. The first one is the general position in the world, so it's aligned with the world axis, uh, they have a center point um, where everything starts. The second one is uh, the relative point, so if you uh, mark two different things, they are relative to each other. And the third one is size. Um, again, you can use the first one to move the object around in general. You can use the second to um, I, I don't know, uh, I'm not sure. You can use the third, that's, uh, that is what I know, um, to um, increase or decrease the uh, distance between the objects you have um, selected. I'm sorry, um, English is not my native language, so I sometimes struggle with the right vocabulary. Um, it's also the um, the window where you can um, use symmetry, use smoothing, where you can name your object, which is uh, rather important because um, maybe you will see uh, someday, but uh, if you have an um, object with lots of um, smaller parts, it's imperative that you, that you name whatever you are working on. Uh, otherwise, you're just uh, sitting there with uh, form 1, form 3, object 5, and you have no idea what is what. Um, so, naming object is uh, obviously quite important. Yeah, I think the shoulders were the most uh, um, interesting part um, to do. Right now, I'm, I switch to the back to. Um, yeah, first I, I thought about how to how to cut the back. I was uh, first going for a really low cut and just uh, thought, no, this looks weird. This looks stupid. This uh, it just doesn't doesn't work. So I I um, we did it, uh, cut it, um, um, cut less, and I'm uh, actually happy with it because it just works way better, it, it, it looks more natural on the body than um, having a low cut back in this case. Um, the overall object consists of two main parts, the uh, front part um, which is the choker and the um, extension of it and the vest which I'm currently working at. Um, I had to take a few uh, uh, steps and, and, and breaks uh, just to think about how I am working with different parts. Um, because sometimes I was just um, con uh, confused or unsure on how, okay, how will this work, how, will this, uh, how do I want it to look at in the end, and what steps need to be taken. Do I have to cut something? Do I have to move something, um, which point where, where do I have to move, where do I have, them, do I have to move them um, from front to back or do I have to move them from the side. Um, so there, there's quite a few breaks in there. Um, it's already taking form. Oh right, there, there's actually a more path. I think um, at, at this point I was thinking about um, what I do. I want to do with the shoulders. Um, I had a few ideas uh, in mind. I picked the um, the one that was uh, that would be translated easiest uh, to the model. Mm, I also had the uh, thought about making a shoulder bubble, um, like like a, like a big. Um, sphere around the uh, shoulder made of uh, fabric. 
Um, I'll probably will do that the next time because it's still is interesting. But this time I was just uh, thinking, no, this um, this doesn't uh, work. This doesn't uh, click with with uh, the rest of the model. Um, yeah. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of um, detailed uh, work you have to move. Uh, you have to you have to cut in a lot of new uh, points. You have to uh, tessellate in a, new, a lot of new points. Um, you have to. Um, add a lot of um, new lines so you can actually move um, the fabric where you want it um, because otherwise you just have, have a back uh, sack of potatoes uh, around your uh, body some uh, places I can uh, if you want I can make a, a video about how to um, import uh, the stuff in Death 3D, how to align it with the body there, because if you just import it, it's not really right uh, where you want it. Um, what's important is that, um, or no, uh, rather, I imported the uh, figure, the, the base, uh, the base model from um, Death 3D. And then um, we um, uh, just just recolored it. I, I, I deleted all the shaders. I um, recolored it with uh, a single color, and uh, at a later occasion, added the um, uh, intimate um, details. So I would know where to uh, cover, where not to cover. Um, and uh, it's important that the model is uh, stays at the base point where it is, uh, so you import it, and it has, of course, certain um, uh, certain coordinates in the in the in the world. It's uh, um, the um, the first of the coordinates is, is on the zero spot, so it's it's in the middle of the left right axis um, and I think it's in the middle of the front back axis but I, I'm not sure about that uh, anyhow um, you have to leave it right there because um, after you um, after you import um, a clothing to the to the 3D and uh, you can adjust it as clothing Options you can you can basically um, let the program work it uh, as a clothing itself, so it uh, just uh, puts it on the spot relevant to the model. Um, what is uh, what is important is that um, the that the program um, looks um, where is the where are the base. Uh, coordinate of the model where are the base coordinates of your imported uh, clothing model and it adjusted so if you would uh, move the Genesis 2 model in uh, hexagon I don't know two units uh, down and then model it um, if, um, as soon as you import the uh, clothing into the 3d and Um, and um, adjust it to the body it would also be moved two units down because you worked on it um, you worked on a, on a shifted unit in uh, hexagon and uh, it would just clip completely to the body um, but yeah we'll make a I will make a video about um, adding um, Um, or how to uh, how to import uh, things in um, the 3D.
um, I already imported uh, these two parts, but uh, I will probably do it about the next one. Um, right now I'm working, uh, here see you, you saw I worked on the shoulders, um, right now I'm working on the um, shoulder slash uh, arm part. Um, I did a little uh, dot there so I could connect the uh, edge of the newly added um, planes or, or um, I, I, I have I have to look up the word, I'm sorry. Um, we'll do it next time. And then I added two wings, you can say. Um, the one thing I noticed with the with the model is, um, you see the wings are, are going rather uh, far up, um, because as soon as I... Um, that, um, no, other another way. The um, model you see right there with the arms stretched out to the side is um, how the model is based in DAS 3D and again the, uh, the uh, if, if you align the, the clothing with the model um, he looks at how the parts you Built are in relation to the base model. So even if you um, even if you pose the model completely in their three D, then at the closing, import it and um, align it with the um, uh, with the model. The program will first look okay. How is the clothing related to the base model? Will model it to the base model and then immediately. Um, move it to the uh, post um, pose, so uh, it will maybe apply um, apply to the pose. So you um, get first results. So uh, yeah, I will show you. I will uh, just uh, show you. Um, yeah, I used um, again. You saw, you saw uh, <coughs> on the left side where all the textures are that I already um, that, that I pre-installed the textures for the uh, wings before I copied them over. Um, simply because um, if I mirror something, he will. Oh no, I, I didn't copy it yet. I didn't copy it yet. But I already added the. Um, the textures for the for the wings, um, because as soon as I copy them, um, the or no, when I copy them, um, he will use the same mirrored texture for both sides, which just makes it easier because I have less textures to apply um, here, and I have less um, Pictures apply to textures in Death 3D. Again, something I can uh, show you in one of the next videos I make. Um, probably end of the week. I guess. Who is he? Um, yeah, right now we see the copy uh, effect. Um, there's a, a tool called uh, Mirror um, where I can basically um, choose which, um, which angle I want to mirror. Do I want to mirror? Uh, the uh, front, uh, do I want to mirror from front to back, do I want to mirror um, horizontally, vertically, whatever. Um, important is that you don't try to use it um, uh, to two times uh, uh, in the same model because it always crashes. Um, I did that mistake in the beginning multiple times and it usually crashed my, um, my hexagon which um, sometimes frustrated me because it didn't save. Yeah. Um, so this was fucked up. Um, right now I'm doing the uh, textures for the um, um, for the base parts um, and we're already at the end of it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope me ranting and going on about uh, things in absolutely 
unprofessional and uh, random matter didn't uh, throw you off too much. Um, and I hope you like the finished result I will include in the next video. But I will make um, I will I will add a picture of um, just the top at the end here. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. Enjoy and uh, probably see you around.